What is up, my peeps? Welcome back for more. Let's play Final Fantasy VIII in the last time. In the last time? <laughs> Alright, the last time. We got acquainted with uh, Balam Garden, which I still maintain my complaints about Balam Garden. This time. Well, we're gonna meet Instructor Tripey at the front gate. Alright. So, for the most part, okay. Reception gate, what do you got? <coughs> I've been here since the garden was established. Good for you, buddy. Alright, so we gotta leave the gate here. And again, okay, there's something I actually wanted to do right out of the gate. Yeah, baby! Junction! We have our gifts. We're not gonna do tech shit unless we junction him. So, because your cocktail will be our junction. And. We don't have any spells right at the moment, but we'll be getting to that a bit later as well. There's also abilities. You can't do anything unless you junction your GF and have your abilities on as well. I will be showing every GF summon as we obtain new ones. But for now, what I'm going to be doing is magic, draw, an item. Draw, what that does is... It'll take from various sources. We'll be seeing one of them a bit here. Oh, really soon. Shut down, that looks beautiful how that looks in the background. Right here. <coughs> These are draw points. But I have two ways you can get more spells. This one contains Cure. That is pretty self-explanatory. You take damage, use Cure, and heal yourself up, patch yourself. It's... No, standard fare. Now, Instructor Trapey. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. I had to show a new girl around. No mind, do ya? You think he's exclaiming before I head off. <coughs> GF gives us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. Or we can skip tutorials and pressing circle. Yeah. Sorry, we don't need ya. <laughs> Once you get to the fire, fire cavern, I'll explain how to catch in magic. Use the magic, I beat you to the punch. But she's gone over the other method of gaining more spells which drawing them from enemies you can picture us i'm going to be doing a lot of draw spamming <laughs> you can control your camera when you're on the open i on the open i mean on the open field by pressing r1 and l1 left bumper and right bumper on the xbox version and right out controls you have assigned to the computer <laughs> okay so what we're going to be doing here is running into some enemies. Right here we got bug bites. Yes, bug bites. Not the bugs, but the bites themselves are quite nasty. Actually, they can be somewhere more than this. <laughs> but right, I need to. I never remember to do this right out of the gate. I need to jump into clusters as well. Okay, so a singular bug bite. Now the crush my crush my crush mark because these are spells that we've not encountered yet on our journey. This is scan. No fire. Oh, they do have scan. I want to get plenty of those. I'm gonna do this with every new enemy that we encounter on our quest. Is that I'm gonna be scanning every new enemy, and I'm doing that with this one right here. Target. Analyze. Bug bite. A, mo a bug monster that flies. Stay calm and attack precisely. It's not a very strong enemy. 
you can get a general idea of what their stats are on the top left corner there, as well as what they're weak against. Not only that, but max HP, some of them are hidden, and what kind of monster they are. So it's pretty handy, actually. Now, as I ran from that ran from that last fight, I gained experience. In those RPGs, that'd be a good thing because you know the more experience you get, the stronger you become. Not so here. As you level up, the monsters become stronger. So it's basically uh, RPG reverse RPG kind of thing. If such a term even exists, if. Reverse RPG is not a real term. I'm quoting it now. Reverse RPG! <laughs> I kind of hope that catches on, actually. Reverse RPG! <laughs> but for now, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of cross spamming. I'll meet you at the end of it. Notice I can't talk any more scans. That's because the max capacity of spells you can have at one time is a hundred. I'm gonna stock all the fires I can and well that is, that is all I wanted to come back for. That you can't have more than a hundred. Okay, so that's all the draw spamming I'm going to be doing for now from Bug Bite, so let's test... BOOM! Dead. For defeating enemies, you'll get a lot of experience, so many miserable drop items, and you gain AP. That is going to be necessary for GS to learn certain abilities. In which case, something I need to do is... <clears throat> this is something I highly urge you to do as well. We're going to be learning card ability. That'll be useful for, useful for something a bit later on. As well as... Strength... Junction. Um, this lets you junction magic to strength. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Something we're gonna want later on. As well as ice magic reform. Yeah, Actually, no, I think I should do that first. As there's gonna be something really handy which will require that. Something that's actually right around the corner. If you can add an even. But card is gonna be a very vital ability to have on hand. <clears throat> and that right there is an example of pulling the trigger at just the right time. Right as soon as your attack connects, pull the R1 trigger and you do more damage. Really, really handy. Is it necessary? No. But it helps a lot. <clears throat> Alright, there's one additional enemy here that I want to counter. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm looking in the wrong area. Yeah, I swear it was out in the field. This guy is one of them. This is that caterpillar? Yeah, caterpillar. These guys will have a uh, yeah another 
skill for us to take. Thunder! Okay, analyze. Caterpillar! Use an attack called Ultra Waves that damages all enemies. This is something I'll come up in uh, later levels. <clears throat> what these um, bios do is... Uh, also give you uh, skills to expect in later levels. The levels have got nothing to worry about when, when it comes to these, but... Some skills... Yeah, these monsters will have <coughs> at a higher level. Not just skills, but obviously, obviously stats. It's gonna be one that's particularly nasty later on. I'll make note of it when it comes up. Let me tell you, it's outright nasty what these guys can do. <laughs> Oh, check it out! Quistus has her limit break. When party members reach a certain level of HP, read where they get into the danger zone, they can activate their limit break. In which case... Yep, Quistus is a power buff girl! Haha! <laughs> yeah, she fire a laser eye! Which, there's a lot more options for uh, Quistus. Speak of the devil! <clears throat> That's the Ultra Waves technique from Caterpillar. Essentially, Quistus is a blue mage. Her strength comes from, well, using enemies' techniques. Which is actually pretty pretty good <clears throat> So what are we going to be doing? Yeah, baby. yeah, sorry about that. I got paranoid in my uh recording software. <sighs> Where it always happens. I'm gonna be fighting like this and up until I get my card ability. <clears throat> Trust me, the card ability will be a godsend. You'll understand momentarily. <clears throat> oh, right. Thanks for reminding me, Kostas. I still got a dungeon magic. I already know. Okay, okay. I was just concerned, that's all. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me, Kostas. I need to dungeon my magic. So the the way hey, the way that it's gonna work is okay. So notice one thing: equipping okay, equipping forty six thunders. I get a magic stat up to ten, going from six to ten. But I've equipped one hundred fires. I get sixteen. Not only is it the type of spell that matters, but the quantity of the spell as well. So it's something you're gonna want to keep in mind. And keep shuffling around your um, magic based on what gives you the the most immediate return. Yeah, baby. So I'm going to punch and fire to my magic. <coughs> <coughs> and I'm going to punch in well fire to spirit. And this gets me into what each stat does. Hit, hit points, high 30 self explanatory. Hey, your physical attack 
your physical defense, magic, praise how extraordinary your magic attack, your magical defense, who goes first in a battle, collectly you are to avoid physical hits, collectly your own physical hits are going to strike, and the likelihood of getting off of different effects. Really, only these five stats I'd say is your biggest priority. These stats, well, they are handy to upgrade or up, but for the most part, you only just need to focus on these five up here. So they are your most important. Elemental defense and elemental offense. Hold the phone there. Stop, wait, just one minute. Elemental offense and defense? No, Klaus, you moron. Elemental offense and defense is on one page. The one you're looking at right now is status. Good fucking god, Klaus. Can you pay any attention at all? These two exactly what you think they do. These, with the help of a certain ability, adds elements to your attack and defense. These are your, um... These are basically the same thing, but with certain different sta statuses. In a nutshell, that's what they do. But for the time being... Because my paranoia is starting to kick in, not gonna lie. <laughs> we are gonna have to save the fire cabin for the next episode, right? So, next time let's play Final Fantasy VIII! That's what we're gonna be doing. The fire cavern prerequisite to the field exam. See you guys then.